Hello children. Today we are going to learn about division. What is division? When we distribute the total number of articles into smaller groups in such a way that all the smaller groups have equal number of articles then the process is called division or we can say division is equal grouping or sharing to understand what is division look at this example one day the class teacher walks into the class with a box of 24 candies which she wants to distribute equally among the six children present in the class she first takes out six candies from the box and gives one each to the children now she is left with 24 minus 6 18 candies she takes out six more and distributes one each after which she is left with 18 minus 6 12 candies She takes out six more candies and distributes one each for the third time and now she is left with only six candies that is one each for the six children. The class teacher is happy that she was able to share the candies equally among the children and the children are also happy that they have got four candies each. So how did the class teacher share the candies equally among the children? she kept distributing one each till there were no more candies left in the box as you can see from 24 she first took out six candies 24 minus 6 is equal to 18 then from 18 minus 6 candies is equal to 12 from 12 minus 6 candies is equal to 6 and 6 minus 6 candies is equal to 0 which means all the candies were distributed or shared equally did you notice that while sharing equally we subtracted the same number more than once this means that equal sharing that is division can also be called repeated subtraction of the same number when the teacher distributed 24 candies equally among six children each child got four candies this statement 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 is called a division statement now let's see another example a balloon man is here with eight balloons and three children john rosy and ila are here to buy the balloons from him he wants to share the balloons equally among the children so he gives two balloons to john and is left with six balloons then he gives two balloons to rosy and he is left with four balloons he gives two balloons to ila and now he is left with two balloons which he is unable to give to the children because he has only two balloons left and there are three children in this example you can see that when eight balloons were divided equally among three children each child got two balloons and two balloons were left this division statement can be written as 8 divided by 3 is equal to 2 and two balloons left Next we will learn the terms used for the numbers in division. From the examples that we did, we got 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 and 8 divided by 3 is equal to 2 with 2 left over. The first number, which is the number that is being divided, is called the dividend. The second number which is dividing the first number is called the divisor the answer is called quotient and sometimes there is a number that is left over it is called the remainder moving on to the properties of division property number 1 when a number is divided by 1 then the quotient is the number itself 
For example, 25 divided by 1 is equal to 25, the number itself. Or 198 divided by 1 is equal to 198. Property number 2. When a number is divided by the number itself, the quotient is always 1. Example, 72 divided by 72 itself is equal to 1 or 101 divided by 101 is equal to 1. Property number 3. When 0 is divided by a number, the quotient is always 0. Because 0 by itself doesn't have any value. It means nothing. And how can you divide when there is nothing to share? That is why 0 divided by any number will be 0. As in the example, 0 divided by 15 is equal to 0 or 0 divided by 99 is equal to 0. Property number 4. Division by 0 is not possible, which means we cannot divide a number by 0. For example, if you are asked a question 86 divided by 0, your answer will be it is not possible or 212 divided by 0 is not possible. A quick recapitulation of the terms of division before we end. The number that is being divided is called dividend. The number that is dividing is called divisor. The answer is called quotient. And the number that is left over after dividing is called remainder.